Hi, I'm your nutritionist Nisha and I welcome you to Taladaral's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make a protein rich recipe named Rice and Soya Paratha. These parathas are made using wheat flour, soya chunks powder and leftover rice that ensures that you get your protein and amino acid requirement for the day. This recipe is specially very good for vegetarians as soya is a good source of protein and vitamin B12 for them which otherwise is found in meat products. So let's begin making our recipe. As I mentioned, we are going to use the wheat flour, cooked rice and then we'll add soya chunks powder. These are soya chunks. I have blended them in a mixer to a fine powder. So now I'm going to be adding soya chunks powder. A little turmeric powder, chilli powder, ginger green chilli paste, salt and a little sugar. This is optional. Very little oil and some coriander for the flavour. We will mix all this well. And then knead into a dough using water. Isn't this a good way to use your leftover rice? And also soya chunks which are usually used to make sabzis are here powdered and used to make a paratha. Our dough is ready and now we'll keep this aside for 10 minutes and then begin our rolling. Our dough has been rested so now let's begin rolling. These are parathas and hence I am not going to roll them very thin like our rotis. Once you have rolled them, we will cook them on a tawa. First let it cook on one side. Once it is little cooked, we will turn it over and cook again. And then we will cook them using little oil. We will put some oil on the other side as well. Cook it on a medium flame while pressing it continuously so that it cooks uniformly. Isn't it very easy to cook? And I'm sure these parathas will be relished by people of all age in the family. Our yummy parathas are ready. Serve them hot with a bowl of curds. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them and I'm waiting for that.